Hello everyone, welcome back to Ziki Sword. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for stopping by my new and old subscribers. I really want to appreciate you all. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me, guys. In today's video, I want to show you how to make brown rice fufu. As you can see, this looks like pounded yam. It looks like pounded cassava. So easy. And one of the things I love about brown rice flour is that brown rice flour contains a very amount of vitamins okay and it helps to lose weight when you swap from white rice to brown rice it has a lot of benefit it is gluten free as you can see if you're struggling with blood sugar brown rice flour is good for you did you see how this looks like did you see it's not even sticking in your finger so this is how brown rice flour looks like just like a flour this is how it looks like you can easily buy it from uh, any grocery store and come back home and follow the steps I'm going to show you this morning to make this brown rice flour for you and your family and it keeps you full this is how it is the brown rice um, flour itself so when you buy it from the store you can always make your own brown rice flour but this one I bought it from the store so <laughs> I bought a lot of it so and this is how the brown rice eats just like this so this is how it is you can go ahead and um, grind the brown rice to get the flour for yourself but because you know I usually buy about 25 pounds back so which is very big we'll buy a lot so that we can save it for about three months so yeah this is how it is so the first thing i'm going to do is uh, pour water in pots depending on the amount that you're about to make so just pour about two to three cups of water in the pot then turn on the heat allow it to come to a boil this is very 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 easy to make so now the water is boiling we're going to uh, take out some hot water and set aside we might be needing it later you may not or you may but just take out some hot water and set it aside now i'll be adding two cups of brown rice flour like i said earlier depending on the quantity that you are making you can add more or you can add less so immediately you pour in the flour just hold your pot with your left hand and use the right hand with your turning stick or wooden stick and begin to turn the rice begin to turn it until it is firm just keep turning it you guys know how to make um how to make nigerian fufu like uh, oat flour just any other fufu it's just the same way keep turning it until it is firm until you make sure that the brown rice is cooked and everything should be on a low heat or medium low so that the pot wouldn't burn so just keep turning it and this video is uh i would say is a kind of a requested video uji jennifer she has been sending me message i'm sorry i didn't um upload this video but <laughs> so i have this video already in my youtube channel but i say let me do it again okay if you requested for this video here it is so after about two minutes i am done turning it and i've gotten the consistency that i want so i'm going to be adding a little bit of water to it because we don't want it to be too strong so just cover it and let it cook on a medium low for about two to three minutes and after that your brown rice flour is ready brown rice flour also helps to lower blood sugar brown rice flour helps you to keep full brown rice flour doesn't have calorie even if it have calorie it just will be very very low in calories and it also helps to lower cholesterol so it has a lot of benefits and it is so so gluten free so if you are struggling with uh, high blood sugar or cholesterol or losing weight this brown rice flour is for you if you want to eat the healthiest fufu this brown rice flour is for you so guys after turning it as you can see it is coming together very firm you can eat this brown rice flour with any fufu of your choice okay you can eat with any nigerian did i say fufu sorry <laughs> you can eat this with nigerian soup or just any soup of your choice you can eat 
this brown rice flour with any fufu of your choice why do i keep saying fufu this early morning you can eat this brown rice flour with any soup i mean soup <laughs> So yeah, this is how it is. If I didn't tell you this brown rice, you wouldn't even believe it. Very, very firm. We are done making this brown rice flour. And it's just brown rice for food. So guys, this is it. Serve it with any soup of your choice. Okra soup, obono soup. Uh, I eat this uh, fufu with my Nigerian vegetable soup. That was on Sunday. <laughs> and it is so so good okay so this is it we're going to serve it if you want to store some of if you want to keep some you can go ahead and put it in this um in this a uh, wrap and then cover it and set it aside but for the purpose of this video i'm gonna do it this way i'm gonna wrap it and then set it aside for you to see but if you're eating it immediately you don't have to put it in the wrap okay just for the purpose of this uh, video, I'm going to wrap it and set it aside for you to see. So yeah, this is how this brown rice fufu is being prepared. It doesn't take time, just in less than um, 5 to 7 minutes, I am done making this. So guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you for stopping by. I want you to subscribe to be a part of my family. And also share this video to someone that might, you know, find this video helpful. And I will see you guys in my other video. Have a beautiful day. Thank you guys so much. I love all of you. Thank you for your love and for your support. Did you see how it is? It looks like cassava, pounded cassava, right? <laughs> So guys, thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.